So this recording is to show you how to change the installation value and what that does in your eQuest file. So we can start with our starter um, building in Energy 242. So we want to open up the PD2 file. And so go ahead and open that up. And then once that opens up, what you want to do is go to building shell if it's not already selected. For example, if it's on project in site, you want to click to building um, shell there. And we want to go to, in the material section, the exterior wall um, construction material. So click on that. And right now we have an R value of 7.5. And so we do that. And I'm going to show you what happens once we uh, run the simulation. So we go ahead and calculate it by performing the simulation. It will ask you to save it. You can go ahead and hit OK. And then we want to view the detailed simulation output file. Hit open. And what we want to look at is we want to look at the utility performance. So right now, the utility performance is um, 290,000 kilowatt hours of electricity and basically 2,606 therms. So we want to see what difference it makes when we change the installation value. So let's just go ahead and double the simulation value and see what happens. So first off, let's do this so that way we can see. Let's open up Excel and let's do Let's just type in the R value of the insulation, which is 7.5, the kilowatt hour usage, which in this case is 290,026. And then let's look at the therms, which is 2,606. Okay, so now let's go back and we will do this again. Let's get out of that. We'll do this again. And let's do an R value of 15, say. Okay. So we have an R value of 15. Let's check it went there. It did. And let's calculate the perform the simulation again. Again, save it. Hit OK. And view the detailed simulation output file. Good. And now, building utility performance. Okay. So let's see what changed. Let's bring out our Excel sheet. For an R value of 15, we know we changed that. So it actually turns out, for some reason, this went up. And we can talk about that more, and we will talk about it more in our building simulation class. And then the therms went down. Okay, so that's what you're going to use when you know what you, your utility rate is to figure out uh, what's going on to figure out your financial analysis, to figure out how many dollars you're going to save. So you use those numbers. And that is it for this video.